Hello everybody, how y'all doing? This is A485. No more Blaze. Coming back with late somewhat review. of a review. It's late, but better late than never, as I say. Yeah, this ain't even gonna be like a real review per se. It's more like our uh, opinions on the game. And after taking us some time playing the game, let it settle in for a couple of weeks. I think we can give you a clear review. Smash Brothers for the Wii U. What do you give it? I say this is the best Smash Brothers yet. I think this one will be better sweet because as of a couple of days ago, Sakurai said he was done making Smash Brothers. He said this will probably be his last Smash Brothers game he makes. So if they do make another one, it probably won't be directed by him. I would give it a nine, a nine out of 10. I don't know, I'm kinda, I'm somewhere in the fact of it might be like at 8.8. .8. To like a 9.2 we keep going back and forth i definitely say this is one of the best games i played um this year without a question i mean everybody probably already heard about all the great features of the game right now let's start off with some of the the things that you don't like at first what do i don't like i'm gonna start off the stage builder they could have added more to that feature especially coming from brawl which had more features in the stage builder I was kind of disappointed with that. That's the thing that I noticed the most that probably got on my nerve the most. What about you? There was no real easy way to see how many custom moves you have for each person. Like you could go into the menu screen, custom move setting, and then you got to pick each person and then you could check which moves they got individually. But if you want to just say, hey, you know, go into the custom moves, here's everybody. You know, just have like something at the bottom saying if you put the cursor on top of the person and it'll just say how many custom moves you got or how many that's left. You know, that'd have been cool too. I get what you're saying. I, I definitely understand that. All right, what is I, something else you liked about it? What was something I like about the game? Yeah. This one is an obvious one. This one is for everybody. I think eight player smash, definitely a chaotic fun mode. Need to find some more people to play with but it's definitely a fun, it's a fun feature. I'm glad they added it. It makes the game more chaotic. It's definitely an experience to try. It is, but, but how you not put that online? That's one of the biggest problems I have with it. I have no idea. I don't know if all the, and I don't know if it's too many internet connections or whatnot, I don't know. I don't claim to know, but. Look, all I'm saying is, if Call of Duty can do it, you should be able to do it also. That's all I'm saying. Mario Kart can do it, so. Smash. Maybe we'll get that in a patch one day. Maybe we'll get that in a patch or some when the DLC drop and we'll get that in a patch. We keep our fingers crossed for that. What else did you like about it? I like the Miis. I definitely like the character roster. Definitely a deep, solid roster. Some of my favorites being Duck Hunt, uh, Link, Mega Man, Bowser Jr., Palatina, and there's several others that I can't name right off the top right now, but I definitely like this roster. Every character, how it plays, how it feels. What about you? Uh, as far as the actual character roster goes, I guess it's all right. I still don't like the fact that they took out Ice Climbers. I still like to play as the same people that I played from Melee, which is usually Ness, Kirby, Zelda. I play as Mega Man here and there, not too much. So Bowser Jr. here and there. Jigglypuff. Yeah, Jigglypuff is one of my main characters also. And as far as a new character, who else? Oh, we got Little Mac. I like Little Mac. Little Mac's kind of gay. He's like, <laughs> he's, oh man. They try to put him like he can overpower people's moves. He ain't that strong. Little Mac is not that strong in his games. Little man. Mac is powerful. What are you talking about? Little Mac, as far as I know, he has to use his speed to win. Win in um. Mike Tyson oh, punch knockout, out. punch out. Yeah. He has to use his speed more than actual power. Now, if he was actually Mike Tyson, that'd be a whole different story. One thing I don't like about Smash Brothers is you can't use the custom moves online. I like yeah. the custom moves, but I don't like that you can't use the custom moves online. I kind of understand it, but at the same time... I don't. I do, because you, you can make some overpowering so characters. What? You shouldn't be able to make any overpower any people overpowered you're just going off the assumption that people can be overpowered certain moves i haven't even unlocked the moves but the moves i did on my did seem overpowering once i mix and match and play with them plus 
the badges you get, you can mix them in and add them in. Look, maybe the badges, but not the actual custom moves. Now they could have did that easily. They could have said, hey. The badges out? Yeah, they could have had, they could have stripped the badges out of online play. And I'm not talking about, obviously we both know they got custom moves that you can play with friends. We're not talking about with friends, but it would have been nice to see people have just somewhat different styles with the same character. Like if all three of us, if, if me, you, and two other people are linked, we could still all play somewhat differently. Right. In full glory mode, it would have been even better to have it in that because you can see people use their own skills or whatnot for that. Speaking of that, how you feel about uh, full glory mode? For glory mode, it's, it's good, I like it, but at the same time, I do got my problems with it. Like, I like full glory mode, but why can't you look at, why can't they just put some real stats up there? That's why I don't understand. Oh, man. Yeah, they could have had some real stats up there, why not? Because you don't want to hurt people's feelings, so what? My feelings all hurt. Yeah, like. It's a learning experience for me for glory mode. I ain't gonna tell you my record, because y'all, but it's a learning experience. Playing with all you competitive players out there, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I can say I'm a little, I'm, I'm a lot better than I was when I first started, and I was, and I was a veteran Smash Brothers player, so. He's one of those veterans, but not like one of those good veterans. I'm average. I used to think I was almost elite level, man, until I actually met some people that seemed like they were elite level. It's a whole different story. Either it's because I'm using lag or something. I, I don't have actual wired adapter to it. Like I'm using the game pad, so. Don't blame it on the lag, homie. Don't, don't blame it on the lag. You are getting your butt handed to you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, just the records, man. Come on now. That's not even something they really had to deal. As long as they, you know, when they put it up together, they wouldn't have had to mess with it again. Now they just got this one thing where you can see your percentage of how much you won. You could have did both. Right, got you. I wanted to see an eight player for glory mode. That probably would have been fun. Yeah, really? I'd have been cool with just eight player being in for fun mode though. Man, you gotta explain that one to me. I mean, I mean, there's no real reason why it shouldn't be in for glory mode with for fun. So I'm not gonna say anything about it. I mean, negative about it. I mean, if they had it in there, it'd be cool too. Like team, yeah, like like you said, team, team smash, four on four. Yeah, that could be epic. How you feel about the stages? I haven't even seen all the stages. Me neither. I haven't been to all the stages neither. For the most part, the stages seem all right. Some of them could have still been, you know, they could have left. I don't like how in eight players you can only use but so many stages. You know more opens up when you uh, pick the Omega option, right? Like you have a few more options. Like um, I think Mega Man's stage opens up in the Omega eight player. There's a few more options to open up, but yeah, it, but it, not, it not isn't all much. Of them, yeah, no, not all of them, but it's a few more options. Yeah, I mean that's cool. But what if, what if I wanted to play eight players with, you know, on a small confined spot though? I mean, I, I don't know. I can't answer that. That'd be totally chaotic, though. Yeah. What else did you like about it? What else did I like about Smash it? Tour. What do you think about that? At first, I wasn't too crazy about Smash Tour, but after playing for a little bit, after playing a little bit for it, it's pretty fun to me. It's pretty fun, pretty chaotic. Um, yeah, that seems like another thing that should have been online. Smash Tour? Yeah. You know, you had your for, for, for fun and for glory, and then you just have that, like, in part. You have that as a part of for fun. Like, the same thing where they got Smash Run on uh, 3DS. You could play that online. Why not have Smash Tour online? Right. Another thing I think of is that you can keep collecting the same item. You keep collecting the same trophy. Keep Probably keep collecting the same custom move. I don't know, but I don't like it. Yeah, they should have um, had a way where you, what am I trying to say? Had a way where they filter out the trophies, where it just spawns random trophies and then you pick up new trophies. I understand some trophies are harder to get than others and there's certain conditions and certain things you have to do to attain certain trophies, but for the rest of them, they should have had it like where you get a trophy and you'll never have to worry about it again. 
So. I like uh, Fall Glory, but I don't like the fact that you can't use custom moves in it. Uh, I kind of understand where they come in with that. I got to see some people. It's already, when you're on Fall Glory mode, there's already people spamming moves. And I imagine there's probably moves that are even worse that makes the game probably unplayable or unjoy no not unplayable unenjoyable because people keep spamming moves but that's just me that's just my opinion yeah, i'm really not trying to hear that personally everybody is beatable i mean nobody's unstoppable up here so with that being said i mean just get over it i wish they would have let us use me characters in full glory <laughs> that would have been cool too but how can you say that you're cool with them not putting custom moves but you will want the me characters in there me character well that moves are already set there ain't no custom moves they can earn well like i said i don't know well like i said i can see how they can be over you think the me player uh me custom players are overpowered the me moves are overpowering no but i don't have a problem with any of the custom moves in there you don't want to have a problem with custom moves i said they can be problematic if people who spamming them and using the same thing over and over again yeah okay with the combinations they can match and match but i mean I guess with the me, they have the set moves, the default moves, I guess, if we're going to stay, the default moves, I guess with that, we can take them online. So how you feel about the uh, co-op players, but the single player moves being co-op now? I like how that's implemented in. I wish that they would have been able to put Amiibos as the second player though. I don't think See, uh, this game would probably be too easy. Your level 50 amiibo. I mean, on the real, it just seems like they didn't do enough with the amiibos for this game. This is supposed to be their primary game to have to be in, and then you can't do enough with them. That's who I should have brought them. I should have brought them my amiibo. Your amiibo versus my amiibo. Oh, so we just saw who won. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been cool. But yeah, other than that, you gotta bring your amiibo over to somebody else's house and whatnot. I mean, there really ain't that much else to do. My amiibo, I put my amiibo through cool training tactics. Seven on one. My amiibo be getting his, my amiibo be getting his butt handed to him, but he be getting better though. Let's see if he actually any good though. Don't be trying to take my tactics now, all right? Man, please. <laughs> Most people try to train their amiibo themselves. I held it down. Uh, I put him against three level nine opponents. He had, he had four kills. I put it on stock five. He had four. Another thing I don't like in this game is that you have to keep changing the profile name every time you uh, you go for something different. Like if you uh, create a setting settings and you, you gotta type your name, whatever it is. So. Every time you leave that Pacific area, like say you was playing eight player smash and then you back out of it. And then let's say you just go back inside of it. Yeah. You don't have your name there anymore. I just don't like it. I can I, I can just for, I can forgive them for that. That's I can understand why I dislike that, but a lot of times when I'm playing online, especially for glory, I'll, you know, put my name in there, stop, go to something else, and then I forget that I have to change my name back. Another thing I would have liked to see, and for fun, would have been a way to customize the actual settings for the for the matches. I wish you could create your own matches in for fun mode. I wanted to do Pokemon battles, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but Pokemon items on. Can you do that for all with playing with friends? That bad. You do it with friends, but you can't do it with playing with anybody. Sometimes my all my friends ain't on. I mean, sometimes none of my friends are on. Everybody knows you can do co-op in it. You have the two players with classic mode, all-star mode, and you know, the other ones. You got the Smash Tour, four people. Um, eight player Smash, you can have your Amiibos in it. You know, maybe four people against four Amiibos or whatnot. I just wish you could do all that online. That kind of what, that's what hurts it. Another thing is, for me, I've been having problems keeping, staying connected online. Now, I don't know if that might just be me, period. But as far as the service goes, it says like communication error may come up every now and then. It's a little bit more only, than I than usual. It's only happened to me once. My main issues when I'm online is 
I got a couple of matches where I had really bad lag. It'd be so bad that I couldn't even play the game right. I like the fact that they did keep the, you know, implement the fact that if you are in full glory mode and you just, you know, you're battling somebody, you like playing them, you can send them a friend request. I'm glad they did away with the, um, you remember the number system on the Wii? No. You had to get the person number. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. Another stupid thing they did was they kept two minutes. So I have one on ones with two stock. I get that. That's cool. But why can't you hey, have team battles with with two stock? Two minutes and make <laughs> it, it's not saved me a couple of times. That two minutes. If I can hold out for two minutes, sometimes I use that I use that to my advantage. But yeah, it's too short. It's too it, it's good. You should at least do it in bad. one more minute. It's good if you're not that good because because you can get away with running away and your KO count. Get it out. Or your falls would be down lowered. Like me, I'm a dodge artist. I know how to know how to dodge most hits most no, of the time. No, you're not. I know how to dodge hits for the most part. Hey, I'm a dodge artist. If you're more like a dodge apprentice. So it like I said, man, I had my problems with the game. That's why I can't. There's no way I can get this to 10 out of 10. I, I hear you, but I can give it a nine because those problems, they're minor issues. They can be, they can be patched for the most part. DLC can render some of those problems for the most part. We know most like nine out of 10 times it won't happen, but you never know. Nintendo, with Nintendo, you never know, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm pretty sure they're not going to change anything about changing yeah. the time for glory or, you yeah. know, the only thing about the stop for glory or, added anything, any modes or a line for fun. Seeing your top five this year? Cool. Top three. Top three? Yeah. I got that in my top three too. It is the best game for the Wii U right now. Matter of fact, matter of fact, my top five is basically all Nintendo games. That's not a big surprise though. It's not, it's not. I mean, anybody who... Well, I mean, other than Bayonetta, for you, Bayonetta 2 is up there. Definitely up there. But this is kind of getting off of a Smash Bros. review now. Well, no. Well, yeah. Yeah, it is. But I was just saying it was in my top five. But, yeah. And with that, it's so, still top five. Yeah. So, with that being said, done with the review opinions. It's like the video. Look at other videos. We'll probably try to have a few videos of me and Reggie playing. Get some people online here and there. In case they want to play with us, you can go I'm ahead. Blaze 515 R-Laser515. Mine is AVO85. You'll see it in the, in the description box. Anybody want to join us, feel free to send us a friend request. Thanks right. for watching. Peace.